New Angel. Hey guys, Celeb here. I'm doing <clears throat> another Infinite Zombies, and um, I'm doing this audio afterwards because I know this is actually a high score. So some theories that I thought were accurate ended up being that way, so that's exciting. Now you can see why I'm picking my buffs here. I am going for the um, rewards increase as well as the uh, resource increase and then a laser increase and then one of the fire robots. Um, so I decided to not do missiles in this one uh, except for one at the very, very bottom of the base. Um, and as you can see here with me going, I like to set up um, usually while it's paused, but in infinite, these first waves are so weak uh, that I can go ahead and just do it while it's going but i would recommend to most folks especially on the levels if you haven't gotten three stars on all of the regular levels to pause while you set up your weapons because because you can and it just uh it's best practice i think because there's no reason to fluster yourself or put something in the wrong place so here um in this game i went for uh lasers and you can see where i put them in the setup here in the placement just lasers and the emp towers to slow down uh the uh, zombies and the monsters but then as it goes along um i get kind of lucky here which you'll see and i get what i always want to get but don't always get uh coming up pretty soon so after that buff i just got the mineral increase and then as it goes along i end up getting like either three or four uh 40 percent laser weapon increases in a row uh which is awesome maybe not all right in a row but you'll see on the video here um i'll fast forward to some of this but i get lots of them in a row so my lasers get really strong and that and since i only focused on lasers and i had one rocket at the bottom only it enables me to get further uh, than i have in the past and i make it all the way to well i break 40k which is cool and you'll see you'll see the score at the end and i had never broken 40k yet up until this point so i was very excited about this what i'm not excited about is the fact that Okay, so at the end, I restarted the wave I was on a couple times. I don't know if everybody knows you can do that, by the way, but I'll, you'll see an example here that you can hit exit and restart the wave if you're about to die and try to do it differently just for that wave. I did that at the end here because I had made a couple blunders and I knew I could get over. Uh, I had a good feeling I was going to be able to get over 40K in this round. And I, during one of those restarts, I meant to restart the recording for you guys for the uh for the video here and that did not go as intended so my apologies but you can see the score at the end and you can pretty much see how i got there um so here now i am just waiting for these at this point in the game you're pretty much just waiting for your buffs to come and wondering what buffs you're going to get because that really is a big determination in how it goes um so that's what I'm doing here, and you can see how you play, uh, how I play. I'll let you guys watch this for a little bit. And then as it goes on, uh, you'll see the buffs I get that I was talking about. I end up getting, um, I get an atom bomb. I get a nice amount of those little fire robots. I get a freeze robot, um, and I get a freeze time uh, along with the laser buffs. So could not, honestly, could not really script it much better. Like uh, maybe instead of some of the little bomb guys if i could have got like two more 40 percent laser buffs but i think to get much over like 45k say it's just ends up being luck like if you know what you're doing it ends up being luck but there's only so much one can do because the monsters end up getting uh so strong at a certain point so if you don't get the right weapon increases um there's nothing you can do because you're going to run out of your special items so you see i just got the freezing robot there so this went pretty well um could it go better? Yeah, I, I could get two more of those laser buff increases, you know, or the first two, three prizes you saw me got there, those could have been awesome, you know, and they weren't. So I think if you know what you're doing and you know what the good setup is and you know how to work your way to a high score, I think it's just going to come down to what buffs you get. And for me, for my money right now, I think the best are, I think the best starting is the orange mineral increase which gives you like 2400 extra resources right off the bat i think that's the best one you can start with for orange um, if you don't have that i'd probably say atom bomb or the freeze time and then for purple i like the 40 percent laser increase because lasers are really the way to go on infinite zombies um and then for 
blue and green usually i'll either do another laser increase but honestly for blue i've been doing the present increase so not the one where it's plus one so you get four present options but the one that increases the quality of the presence i think that's the best way to go for blue um could do another laser buff there as well but i think it's all about the buffs that you get throughout the game because you get so many of those so i think that's the best way to go and then for green i don't know how important it is uh, the fire robots are good always good to have i think that the resource boost on the green is the three percent is so minuscule i don't know how well that does and then uh the hp boost on green could do that too so if you have all those i think those are the best things to start with and then throughout the game, just in general, I think you're always looking for laser buffs, uh, especially the 40%. Um, that's your number one, the purple laser there. But then but that aside, you always want to go it, it, pretty much consistently across the board here, go by color. So if it's orange, you're probably going to want what's orange. Um, if it's purple, uh, and you know, green and blue is the other options. You're probably going to want what's purple. Uh, like you're going to see here, I'm about to go for the purple resources because it's just much more valuable. So it's the same color scale that there is throughout the rest of the game. So if you have a choice of an atom bomb and two things that are green, go for the atom bomb. If you've got a 20% blue laser increase or an atom bomb, go for the atom bomb. You know, go for orange, go for purple. One exception I would say if there is a 30% orange all weapons boost and I have a setup like the one that I have here, uh, this has happened to me before, So, and I, and I have the choice between either a purple 40% laser increase or the orange all-weapon increase, I'm going to go for the 40% laser increase because I think the 10% on the lasers is more valuable than the boost on the EMP towers here because they don't do enough damage to matter to the bosses um, in this game, and it doesn't make them slow them down more, so except for that. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys see. I'm probably going to zoom through a little bit of this and you guys can see uh, the buffs that I'm getting and how it goes. And I uh, will talk to you in a moment. Getting one of my uh, laser buffs here, the aforementioned laser buffs. It's the first of several, uh, which is good. I was very pleased at this point. And then... Uh, you guys can see how I play or you know how I play, but I'm going to go ahead and speed up through some of this just so you can see me getting the uh, buffs that I get. I think that's the most important part and just shorten this up a little bit. Second laser buff in a row right here got me pretty psyched. At this point, I was, you know, with the 40 I started with and 40 and 40, I had a good feeling that this was going to go well. I was being cautiously optimistic, not... I definitely started paying attention a little more because I was like, oh, I think this could be this could be the one. So uh, zooming right along here. I'm going to keep it going quick just so we can get to the important stuff. And yeah, so you can see it's going good. And some stuff that sometimes would get through on me wasn't. And so I was happy for a lot of reasons because I haven't broken 40K as of yet. Third laser buff in a row. At this point, I'm like, holy cow. You know, and because this is like pretty awesome, and my score at this point, I mean, I'm getting up there, and I don't think I've ever gotten that many laser buffs in a row. I'm pretty sure I haven't, because I think I probably would have gotten this score a while ago. So this made me, and I'm sure there's other way to, to get really high scores in this, by the way. Like, I know a lot of people, you can use more bombs and go for things like that, but I really wanted to do it with the lasers getting stronger and stronger, because in my mind, I thought that'd be the best way. And so, um, I was pretty happy about that. So at this point now, I'm excited, having fun, and we are getting pretty close to um, what's going to be looking like a high score. At this point, I was pretty darn sure I was going to get a high one, and as you can see how it's playing out here. Number four in a row, laser buff. I remember being incredibly excited when this happened, like because I knew for sure now it's going to be a special round. And I, that's also an example right there. They had the orange 30% all weapons increase. And I usually would say almost always go for orange, but except for me and infinite zombies in this instance specifically, where I value the 10% extra laser over the added 30% to the EMP towers. So that's what you just saw there. And um, now it's going really well, as you can see. And my lasers are strong as heck. <laughs> Now 
All right, and you can see here, um, I go for the time freeze. I'm gonna keep it sped up for a moment, but at this round, I know at 31,000, this is where it's always, this is the death round. <laughs> and you know, historically, this is the place where you die eventually. And I end up, what I do, I did forget to record my final score because of course I did, and that sucks, but I have it at the very end, just not while I'm actually playing it, unfortunately. So I'm gonna keep this sped up because I end up redoing this wave several times. Uh, trying to figure out the best way to use my various bombs and stuff to get through this um, to get through this while still having some bonuses saved and to get through this taking the least amount of damage so I wanted to go into the next wave um, as healthy as I could so you just saw me there I just restarted this wave because I wanted to use uh, my bombs and my bonuses um, in a different way or upgrade weapons in different spots um, so I do this several times, which is why I ended up stopping the recording because it was getting a little long. And so, uh, and unfortunately, when I finally got to the one, I got distracted by something in my house. And when I finally got to the version where I get my high score, um, I did not have it recorded. But I think you guys got the important stuff, which is that my lasers got upgraded a lot. And then I had some good weapons at the end, you know, with, with the bombs and the freeze and the atom bomb. And when you use those in the right spots, which I always recommend that choke where I just used it is usually um, the best place to do it. Um, when you use those in the right spots, uh, it works really well. And when you have the combination of the 12 second freeze with the atom bomb and you have the big enemies, a really great thing to do is to do the 12 second freeze then do the 12 second freeze right when they're about to overthrow your base. Like right when a big wave that you're not strong enough to stop is about to hit your base, do the 12 second freeze and then do the atom bomb immediately right on top of the 12 second freeze. Cause what that will do is it will, it, you'll freeze everything. The atom bomb will kill all the small stuff and your big weapons will have time to focus down only on the large remaining bosses. Um, Hope that made sense. I, I, I do it a couple times here. I'm not sure if I did it on the recording so that everybody could see it, uh, but um, it's something that I make a regular habit of doing. Here's me starting over again because that didn't go the way I wanted it to go. So I will skip forward uh, through the end here and um, hope you guys um, understand what I was getting at and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. All right, and here we are, final score. So at the end of the round you guys last saw there i restarted again a couple more times and i got my freeze nuke combo correct so i was able to get through to the next wave still having something left all i had left was the uh the freeze bomb um and i didn't make it too far into the next wave I, you know i got through some i got through like the first couple big enemies using the freeze bomb but then they were too strong um i didn't get a good uh, that was the only weapon I got. If I would have gotten an orange weapon or an orange, another boost going in, who knows? But I'm very happy that I broke 40k and my theory held true. Like I kept saying to myself, and I've said in some videos, I think if you get those certain types of buffs, that's really going to determine once you reach a certain point. Once you get past a certain level, I think that really determines how you do. And um, that held true because so I've never gotten that many laser buffs before and it really worked out for me. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed watching or learned something or got something from this that you think can help you. Uh, like, subscribe, give me a comment. Bye.